Hello, hello, it's Vero, and we are back in Pillars of Eternity. I have totally forgot what we're doing. What are we doing? Voice from the past. We have to go to Brackenbury Sanitarium to do that bit. Um, let's continue this bit, though, because I'm pretty sure we end up having to go to Brackenbury Good. Sanitarium in the main quest anyway. Everybody's stealth. Shall be discreet. Actually, nobody's stealth. Uh, everybody's stealth. Not sure what's up this way. Hello? Let's go fast, though. Okay, nothing. So, all the way back over here. Um, this episode, we want to try and progress a little bit in the main quest as it kind of leads you through the process of going to various places where we can get other quests. We're going to get a bunch of side quests at some point, and then we'll do a bunch of them. Obviously, because I like XP um, is one of the main reasons. But it's also just good to see more of the game. Let's head down. I shall be you shall be quiet. Very quiet at the end there. Um, so, hopefully all my sound issues are sorted now. Okay. We get voiceovers? In front of you looms the ghostly hollow image of the man who was present at your awakening. You are from Kratu, oh. my boy. Yeah, uh, I was born there. A remarkable city. Truly one of the most impressive we have encountered outside of our own. Many exceptional people who have joined our cause come from Kratum. Good to know. What made you decide to join our order? Uh, I saw gods grant miracles. So it is for all the faithful. To know the true gods is to be watched over by them. Are you ready to take the oath? To spread the word of the gods to the lost and heathen. Surely am. Okay. Those guys look like they might be bad. Let's uh let's go other ways. I shall be quiet as a calm sea. Okay. Yeah, not. we'll take the back door. I think I see something. Yes, you see a trap. Let's get it. Damn it. I need a level. Okay. How close are you, man? Ah, uh, not close enough. Ooh. That's pretty hot. Um, You don't have gloves on. I would appreciate you doing more damage. Let's hook you up. What's this thing do? Grants combusting wounds. Three per rest. Um, yeah, let's top that on to the paladin. Top that, pop that. There we go. Yes? Okay. I want that trap. Hey. How very frustrating. Um, let's see. How is everything going over here? One day, two hours. So we might have to fight these dudes. Let's save again run over here um, how would I know to be here if I didn't belong yeah better not ask too many questions I just stated I know why I'm here you gonna let me steal from you fantastic Sneeze. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. I find it's best to layer your sneezes with a variety of different vowels to give them character. Okay. I think I see something. I I think I do too. That's a fine rod. You know it is. Um. Primal rock and binding. Yeah, those are uh, crafting ingredients, I believe, for some nice crafting stuff. Light, flame, and sound. We'll keep to ourselves. Some free food. God, this place Keeping is super generous. Who is this guy? Initiate. Kind of want to kill him. 
but let's uh I can do that as requested never said it was stealing <laughs> when you strangled your first wrongdoer did you see the moment when life became death could you see the instance when your victim realized that Wodica forgets nothing when Wodica takes back her throne you will face her with pride knowing you have held to your own oaths or will you be among the word breakers so proper nasty folks these Wodica worshippers like there's like mm, you broke an oath we're gonna murder you with our bare hands oh fine I'll talk to you well met friend by the flame you startled me where's your mask Don't let anyone inside see without it. They're keen on anonymity. What are you doing here? I've been practicing the passphrases. I know them backwards and forwards, but I get so nervous. You can practice on me. Okay, here goes. First question. State your name purchase. My name belongs to the gods and my hand of this service. What company do you seek? Shadows that our labors may remain secret. Labors to see the craft of kith and will. There does not disturb what bones the god have buried. How do we know your purpose? You shall know it by the confession of my tongue, the deeds on my hand, and the oath of my soul. Fifth question, how is your oath guarded? It is sealed by the leaden key. Sounds like you got it. Okay. Thanks for the passcodes. Uh, where the heck am I supposed to get a mask, though? Uh, hello. Hmm. No, I, I didn't. Do we have a mask somewhere in here? Ah, Wodica Hood. I have only got four of them, though. It, will it be enough? Hmm. I don't like this. Let's give all my squid. Uh. Uh, he doesn't have any headgear anyway, so he definitely gets one. And you don't have any headgear, so you definitely get one. There we go. Lot. A lot of people have one. We should be fine. Back, you clod! Those hooded fiends are nigh to be trusted! Huh. So, his weird double personality knows Hello. something about these people. Hello? That's interesting. I don't know if I remember noticing that. <laughs> um, let's go into the chamber alone. Because not everyone has masks. Okay. You are late, attendant. I've been waiting on your reports. Quickly now, state your name and purpose. I remember what that one. What company do you seek? I remember Tell that me one. of your labors. How do we know your purpose? And how is your oath guarded? Welcome, attendant. Tell me of your... Does he wait still? Did yeah. they arrive? Your information shall be relayed. Okay, I have now, no idea. For your next task. <laughs> hmm. Something to do with that. Stop him. And above all, don't let him meet her. Okay, doke. Acolyte shows you door in the base of the tower. Okay. Wealthy and lean store training on also misery and sadness. He's half matter but his eyes alert. Prisoner by choice. Um I don't want to get caught, so I'm not gonna ask any questions. What's this? Huh? Oh yeah. Go take care of that lady. Go get it done, Sagani. Okay. So, we got through that safely. 
So that place of misery and madness is obviously the sanitarium. What could be more miserable than a sanitarium? I, I don't know, actually. Um, travel to Dareford Vision. Okay, so now I've got three main quests. Mm -hmm. Continue to get to know Durance. He's not really in the speaking mood, so we're just going to leave him alone for now. You can fight your way in here, I believe. Let's switch back to our proper good helmets. Hey. And up we go. Bloody allergies. What was that about? Steward received something, and I don't know what it's about. I'm gonna have to head back. Of course. A moment, please. I feel I should explain myself. Okay, what's up? About my episode in the catacombs. There's something I should have told you earlier. What? I thought I could keep it to myself, that when we resolved the matter of his soul, we would address my problem. I also have an awakened soul. But, unlike yours, mine is a presence that shares my senses and my skin, making herself manifest at the most unwelcome times. I hadn't noticed. Okay. I'm sorry. I've tried to learn to control Isselmir. I've gotten stronger, but so has she. So who, who's Arthas, Isselmir? Uncouth. A creature of rash impulses and feeble faculties. She... Wags her impertinent tongue when she should listen. Hey, this one's fit to boil. Hard to get this gaff over anything tisn't to do with books and spill speak. <laughs> but of course, manners an intolerable hill speak suggests provincial from a very, very long time ago. She tends to surface a hair's breadth from conflict when the fuses burn down and teeth are on edge, and when she shows up, she doesn't stop to gauge a situation, she just acts. Seems reckless. Trying to suppress this with my problem. Why don't you say something I sooner? I learned to keep her a secret a very long time ago. Those with awakened souls are shunned, mistrusted. And after your experience with Meowald, I'm certain you can see why. You need to be careful. It's going to be Merely a problem. an annoyance. Although, Defiance Bay is said to have an entire institution dedicated to the study and cure of soul related ailments. Since our journeys have already brought us to the city, perhaps we could speak with someone there. Okay. Thank you. Clearly everything is trying to get us to go over to the, uh, whatchamacallit place, to the sanitarium. Following your lead. Oh, so close. I want to be able to hey. disarm the next level of traps. Um, and back out we go. We will be back for all those traps. Oh, the sound's doing that thing. I was hoping my new graphics card would reduce the sound cuttiness. You guys coming? Oh, I'm on slow mode, that's why. Fast mode, please. Okay, so we've got three different things to do while we're at the sanitarium. So at least we have things to occupy ourselves. Hey, Ala, can I, uh, talk to your, uh, you know, your friend? What is it about Isselmir? I'm right here, you know. No, no, you're both great. It's just, well, I feel like I don't get to spend as much time with her, and she's just so funny. I mean, some of the things she says are not nearly as funny when you've been hearing them for 50 years. <laughs> I think they're funnier when you find out that you've been someone else has been hearing them for 50 years. Poor guy must be going mad. Um, Brackenberry. Brackenberry Sanitarium is what it's called, so let's assume it's in Brackenberry. Next time we get the chance, I'm buying you a pint. That means a lot to Dare. Oh, do you Dare. want one too? Sorry, I meant for Isselmere. I'll get you one too. 
banter. Quest added two sided. Okay. Who of you have names? You have a name. Hail, traveler. Do you mind? I'm rather busy. What are you busy with? I mean, making them stick. You want to make souls stick. What exactly do you need? Okay, you want me to steal something from someone from the high archivist. Archivist. Okay. Why didn't she lend you the books? I think it's dangerous. Spread of research. Tell me about the theorems. Hannah Metzer working the Derwood had some interesting theories about essence and some rather innovative techniques for studying it. He was able to reattach souls to bodies after death, although he wasn't able to prevent his patients from degenerating. So, sounds like necromancy. Sounds like gross, disgusting necromancy. What do you mean by degenerating? Uh, bodies will reanimate and may even retain memories and personality, but they develop a hunger for flesh. So yeah, undead zombies. Uh, they devolve. Sounds like necromancy. That's what I said. Um, what are the Elder Archives? They're Elder Archives. Okay, so yeah, bye. Let's head on in. This is a place designed to keep people in. Okay, doke. Hmm. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Bunch of quests just updated, which tells me I'm in the right place. Uh, we could kill Verna now, but I'm fine. I'll take all your free books, though. And the head warden is a statue and not a person. I guess, considering that our steward is a statue and not a person, that's not that terribly surprising. Apparently people love being statues. I guess if you want to live forever and you don't want to have to worry about being injured, statue is a good way to go. So we're going to talk to the head warden. And you're just all going to let me steal your books, huh? Can I talk to you? No. Practical benefits of animus animacy. Soul adjustment for the well adjusted. Um, probably can't. Don't want to walk down into the vaults without speaking to the head warden. He feels attention turned towards you. It's been some time since a watcher graced these halls. I'm envious of your natural insights, traveler. I can imagine, only imagine how it might have helped my work in life. What's that brought you to the sanitarium? Uh, you may have a member of the Leaden Key in your midst. I could have done without hearing that today. Many have had, many have their intrusions been into our affairs. Of course, one can seldom be sure whether they meddled or whether calamity has struck on its own. But a few of their less skilled infiltrators have been exposed from time to time. They are perpetual nuisance. Once again, I am reminded of how envious I am of your gifts. I suspect they would be of some use in verifying one's identity. You're at odds with the leaden key as well, I take it. Uh, they have something I need. They're seldom keen to part with knowledge. Do you have an idea of who this person may be? Um, I wouldn't consider anyone above suspicion. Very well, in that case, I would recommend you speak first with our resident animancers. They have frequent interactions with both patients and colleagues. You'll find them up here or in their offices downstairs. Report anything suspicious immediately. I'm also looking for Moidred. Find him downstairs in the first room on the right. And does anyone here know anything about Wakenings? Lower floor came all the way from Ravua to study. Look for Belasej. And... Okay. That's probably enough. That's probably enough questions. I don't need to know absolutely everything. I just need to find the people who know more than him. Now this bit I remember from a previous playthrough. I believe that uh, the patient is a trap, if I remember correctly. First door on the right. Modred. With some of the trunk more closely. Da -da -da -da. 
Da. Welcome. I'm looking for an expert. Uh, what are you working on? How to cure white. Why do you study whites? What is a white? A hollow born who received a transplanted animal soul during infancy. One of Animacy's early efforts to cure the legacy. Gross. Seems like an odd solution. Uh, okay. Seemed to work. People called it salvation. Children that had never been responsive suddenly seemed aware of their surroundings. Um, but that's when the incapable oh, children become violent. Mm. I see. Anything unusual? Oh, I like him. He's a bit sarcastic. Does the name Helig mean anything to you? He was primarily a necromancer. He was involved in animants. He worked at the sanitarium. Do you know a woman named Rowena? Okay. Uh, I've heard it differently. Okay, nobody else had the spine to kill him. He was a madman. Years of perverse experiments, twisting healthy souls, torturing damaged souls, and for what? He flayed the essence from Glen Fathen Indigence for his amusement. If the public had known half of his deeds, they'd have razed this place to the ground. Okay. He used a sanitarium to disguise his own sick proclivities. He brought shame on all of us and put the entire discipline at risk. I regret nothing. Okay, well, his soul returned to his corpse through sinister magic. If he sent you, I can only i only hope I can convince you to return and slay him once and for all. He said you stole a grimoire. I'm not in the mood for games. Where is it? If I know Helig, this is his idea of a joke. Probably not one you or I would appreciate. If anything I've told you about him is sunken, I beg you, return to the catacombs and slay him once and for all. The foul man will cause misery and pain as long as he's around. Mm. I'm concerned that if I give him this key, it's going to kill him and it's going to be a joke. Um, bear with me. I don't want to kill him. Uh, choices, choices. Choices, choices. Uh, I'll kill him. Okay, let's save real quick. And then let's open it. Okay. Yeah. Uh, no. I thought that was going to happen. Dude is a dick. Seriously. Set a trap of a, of a white that was specifically enchanted to want to kill Mordred. That's not very nice. So we're going to not do that. Ooh, I leveled up. I didn't even notice. Level up indeed. Okay. Enough to put another one in the survival. New things. Um, even though I think this is actually just uh, another choice of ones that I've already had. Hobbled weakened. 25% of all damage reapplied to nearby enemies. That, let's see, compared to what I've already got, I'm not sure that's better. Um, Puppet Master, dominated. Dominated. Okay. Destroys a target's psychic defenses. So it's a plus 10 accuracy versus will. Uh, I'm going to exit out. I want to look at what I've already got. Excuse me. I want to look at my abilities. So, mental binding. 
par that's the paralyzation whisper of trees and here we go charmed lower duration decent accuracy so what's the difference between charmed ah not full capacity okay and recall agony 30% of all damage reapplied over 16.2 seconds now that is not AOE so just to confirm let's take a look at these again I only get one frightened and sickened dominated longer duration fast speed to all nearby enemies Oh, I get it. So I can go all in on one dude and injure everyone around it. That's pretty cool. Hobbled and weakened is, of course, kind of nice. I think Puppet Master. Longer term charm. Yes, please. Psychic Backlash. Stunning an enemy whenever they target the Cypher's will defense. Okay. Additional max focus would be nice. What else we got? Quick switch. What about quick gunner? 20% reload speed would be great. Bloody slaughter. Uh, interrupting blows just more interrupt with my attacks not so great gunner looks good greater focus looks good Defense unstoppable. Plus one weapon sets. That would allow me to put on another blunderbuss. Which that would actually increase my damage potentially considerably. I mean probably that's enough to get my focus high enough to spend most of my time doing focusy stuff after that I don't know I don't know I'm thinking either arms bear gunner or greater focus I think I'm gonna go arms bear see if we can get another blunderbuss on him yeah and 20 innate focus which is great that means I can start with a paralyze as needed. Let's see, do I have another blunderbuss? Probably. Archibus. Uh, there we go. There is it. it is. It's Flavano's. Let's just compare these real quick. Uh, more damage on Fulvanos, but that's probably from the exceptional modifier. 5% chance to cast, to cast Charm on hit or critical hit. That's pretty nice. Now, I could give this thing damaging, accurate. Can't give it exceptional yet. I need level 8 for that. And some stuff I don't have. Legendary. Fine, I could, however, give it... Burning Lash would be fun. Uh, I'm not going to give any slaying stuff. That's just... See, accuracy would be good. Well, this does the work of both. So we're going to make it fine. And look at us. We are all blunderbussy up. Okay. Hey. So... Not gonna get you killed, little dude. I mean, you're little compared to me, but okay, you. Greetings. 
I'm looking for an expert on awakenings. Okay, I'd like to transfer enemy success in buttressing pre-awakened souls to soothing those whose souls have already awakened. I have a volunteer. <laughs> All you must do is stand in that cage. <laughs> you Adarens are so uptight. I don't even think the thing is... I don't even know what the thing is used for. It belonged to the last occupant. Now they upgrade him to a cell. Again, I just... So, I need you to sit here and try and relax, but don't try too hard. Then you will not be relaxing. <laughs> I like her. And you must also wear these. A little cold, but the copper will help conduct your essence. Now I will examine your soul through my scope. It is fitted with adra lenses cut to different thicknesses and concavities. By manipulating them, I find the angles and densities that will allow me to track the anomalies in your soul. How exciting. I've never seen this sort of thing performed. Ah, uh, I like he <laughs> Let's find this cunning interloper. You will answer some personal questions while I make adjustments. Everyone's got something to say. Very well. To begin, tell me something personal, something from a time before your awakening. I was just a normal child living in the Sith Wood. Talk about your parents. Mother is away most of the time with the Thanes family, but I always know when she's coming home. Father's bottles accumulate like storm clouds on the horizon. His fits of temper become swifter and more violent. It still shames him knowing that her hemneg to another man supports us better than his labors as a steward. I am in my fifth year of training. Mother is home. I can let my guard down a little because when she is around, he is usually only angry with her. But he has heard that I have had trouble casting, casting missiles, that my flame shields are unstable. He is furious that I failed, and Mother's presence reminds him that he has failed, too. The first blow takes me by surprise. One moment I am sweeping the kitchen, the next I am sprawled on the ground, stupidly looking at flecks of my blood on the tile. His boots, glistening with fresh polish, thud across the floor. He kicks me in the stomach, and I curl up to shield my vitals. But it's pointless. Protecting one thing only leaves something else exposed. Still huddling on the ground, I retreat as fast as I can. I retreat until the vision of the kitchen and my own trembling knees is nothing but a pinprick against a field of black. Okay. You're safe. Everything's fine. He's ne'er safe when I hap upon him. That's it. I'm seeing a shift in his essence. Something spreading and congealing. Keep talking. He seems to respond to you. What brought you here? Cracking bones and voices high in ire. That warm molasses feeling that crips down your gut when your crisis is nigh. That's different. Belfetta, we have flares of a totally distinct essence. Now try to get the two of them talking. Esselmir, tell Alth why you've awakened. Fi, he's the one need me. Hiding his own bone bag like a turtle in its shell. I never turned it over to you. Good, yes, very good. I can now see two separate patterns of essence. Where he ebbs, the other flows. It's as if the awakened soul fills the spaces that he leaves empty. Go on. What, what's about you seeding space? I've given her nothing. She usurps me in my own body. I and I lend him a pair too. You should ask what he... Ask what I did that old man of his. How the last time he laid a hand on us, I break it in three places. That wasn't your decision. It's never been your decision. And I was awakening, but now I'm stuck with you. And damned if I let your ninnying drag us both through the scupper. Ach, very good. I think I've finally got something we can work with. To attract the essence at a particularly high density index during the most heated portions, and her essence seems to localize most clearly in the lower portion of the subject's left ridge rib cage, right around the spleen, which of course means that she's triggered by black bile. No doubt the uh, subject's characteristic melancholy is to blame. <laughs> That's utter horse shit. Black bile, is it? They've certainly spat their share. It's a simpler explanation than I expected, all things considered. Yes, never mind year, my years of training. I suppose you have a better explanation? I suppose that could be true. I'll have to check this against other research. Uh, means takes control when she thinks you can't face a problem on your own. She did you a favor by dealing with your father. Uh, I'm, I th I'm neutral about it. Hope this has been as useful to use it as it's been to me. I finally material worth publishing.
Aye, advancing the right wise principles of animacy. Just what I've just what you've always wanted. Oh, that was that was Isselmere. Please, I don't want my personal information published like this, especially not after her nonsense. Um Come on, you made it you made a deal. Is that is that, that quest done? Did we finish a quest? Did we finish a quest? I don't see it. There we go. Two sided. Done. And a bunch of level ups. Yay! Okay, so. You get one of those. Bonus knockdown. That could be nice. Rapid recovery. Improved recovery is always nice. Um. Right now, I'm using mostly a normal sword. That would be a knight. I could just rely on normal sword and crossbow. Kind of hesitant to invest too deeply into any of these. Defensive. So I could give him superior deflection. He is a tank. <laughs> okay, savage attack. Decrease to accuracy. He's already a shield user, so I don't want to decrease his accuracy anymore. Okay, deflection. Additional disengage. Unstoppable. That would be really nice. Uh, it'd be even better if it stopped him from getting paralyzed. Uh, bull's will, body control. Anything that defends against being paralyzed, weakens, stunned, because that just cuts through his defenses. Honestly, probably I'm going to end up... Being said... How does it... What's the difference between... Mental Fortress and Bull's Will. I need to check that. Now I'm assuming the way it fundamentally works is that there's different spells that accomplish similar things, but uh, but maybe use different whatchamacallums. But I would definitely like to resist as many of these as I want, especially with Eater, because he's my main tank. And if he crashes, everything crashes, basically. Oh, okay. So, Will. If I think Bear with me, just doing a little bit of quick reading. Dominate Petrify doesn't seem to miss often, if ever, and whether crits or grace doesn't make much of a difference. Uh, the best way to deal with Dominate is by disabling your dominated party member. Petrify can be avoided by confusing disabler, focus firing, crystal eater, spiraling, blah, 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 blah. Okay, people seem to think it's incredibly hard to protect against charm. Okay, so most people seem to think they're not worth anything. That it's better to invest in something else. Uh, an additional knockdown wouldn't be bad. Um, still does damage. 
and it knocks people down, which is super duper useful. Of course, it's versus fortitude, but actually getting him in and knocking down lower fortitude mobs like casters would be fun. Oh gosh, so would him not getting injured as much, basically keeping his hit points up. Um, I'm going to go with the bonus knockdown. I don't know if it's the right choice. I'm going with it anyway. Next level up. Kana. Mechanics it is. Let's hope we can get all those traps now. Okay. Paralyze for 11.2 seconds. AoE, paralyze. Accuracy versus will. Summon three worms. That would be really handy. Anything that divides the number of uh, guys people are fighting. 25 seconds, 25 seconds, 11.2 seconds. Terrified. Okay. Dun, 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 dun. Plus 50 defense against stuck, petrified, paralyzed attacks. How long does this last? 28 seconds. And about half that much. No, actually, same thing for the caster. Okay. Additional charms. Oh, I love charming. Two fingers of daylight. So, da da da. Bounces up to three times. Ooh, I think I'm going to go with the worms, just because it's always useful to have distractions. Modifies ancient memory. So, we'll just constantly do more healing. That being said, most of the time, what I really have him working on is shooting things. So let's get him more weapons. Or gunner. Yeah, maybe gunner. Yeah, I'm going to go gunner. Okay, endurance. Survival. Okay, here we go. Lots of choices. So, dazed with my interdiction. Oh no, this just gives plus 10 accuracy on my interdiction. Brilliant radiance damages vessels. Aggrandizing radiance. Okay. And inspiring radiance. Allies gain an accuracy bonus. I think I like that one. I mean, that's just simple and useful. Or just bonus spells, which are always just useful. Uh, I think I'm going to go inspiring. Mm. Being said, this is pretty solid. Everyone receives less healing from the priest's holy radiance. But the priest gains a bonus to all attributes and movement. Only the priest gains the bonus. Is that true? Aggrandizing radiance. Is that true? Am I understanding this correctly? Let's find out. Bear with me. by having to change some settings on my computer so I can use the internet effectively. Aggrandizing radiance. Despite the place all of Holy Radiance's healings, it only actually affects the ability's healing towards the user. Okay. But uh, only priests can Usually using holy radiance early in the encounter for the plus ten accuracy from inspiring radiance, which stacks with everything. Yeah, that, that sells it for me. We are gonna go 
Inspiring Radiance. Oh, Inspired Flame. No. Inspiring Radiance for that early accuracy, which is going to make a huge difference. And we're done. Last one, Aloth. I thought he was my stealth guy. He's got no stealth at all. Um, I could give him stealth, I suppose. Let's get survival up a bit more. Level three spells. Displaced image for deflection. Blights. Arcane dampener. That kills buffs. That's pretty interesting. Sickening, terrified, pure pierce damage, drain, ooh, minus attack speed, hells yeah, grimoire slam, one per encounter, no, arcane veil, e. Honestly, for him, b bonus first level spells. First level spells are amazing. Dangerous implement, however. Ooh, but it does raw damage to self, which is a problem. Penetrating shot, however. The range attack speed's pretty okay, and having additional d damage resistance bypass, since he's hitting multiple dudes with every shot, thanks to blast would be a very good thing probably yeah I think that's what I'm gonna do I am going to go with penetrating shot is that everybody leveled it is how may I help we want penetrating shot on hey there what what yes, yes. I'm ready sure you are Hey. And look at that with my three knockdowns. All okay. Right, then. Who's in here? Ripley. Well met, friend. Uh, da, 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 da. He'd know more about that, but he's in the middle of an ex um I mean busy with some patience. Which is it? How do I get into the patient ward? What do you do here? Okay. Okay. I must say, I'm not confident in this fellow. This secretive fellow. But I will freely go through people's books. Um, what was that that I just picked up? Da -da -da. Quest item. Okay, well that's uh You don't want to be bothered with being questioned by the person who runs the school. I'll give it a try, as requested. Good to know. Okay. Subject as a weak candidate for present research. Powers of speech absent, over fragmentation of the soul. Experimentation has caused severe pain and induced panic. Okay, so you're torturing people. Acute dissociation, paranoid delusional tendencies. Uh, okay. Initial analysis of soul reveals severe fragmentation. Said deficiency all but eliminates the possibility. Okay. We're going to take all of that. And we're going to go share it with the headmaster. You scumbag. <laughs> Good day to you. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. Experiments. Kidman Azo is in charge of patient welfare. He's not authorized to run any more experiments. He'll be in his office or in the patient wards. I'm granting you immediate access. You can find him. No doubt you'll wish to speak to him further on this matter. I, for one, am curious as to what he might have to say. Tread carefully in the wards. There are a few dangerous cases. I would also 
Also ask that you do your best not to agitate the patients. They have enough problems as it is. Fair dues, my sir. Fair dues. Oh, my phone is ringing. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Okay, I'm just going to wait for it to ring out. I'm going to send her a text letting her know that I am recording. Ba -ba -ba. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Recording. Okay. Okay, so there's like flesh constructs everywhere. It's pretty gross. Pretty gross. Wanna just look around? I shall be discreet. Shall you? Shall you really? I want to steal a bunch of stuff and scrolls and money and books and things. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So, my dude. Can I go in there, please? You're going to re totally release those things later, aren't you? I'll take those. Patient, 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 patient. No longer patient. Patient, patient, inpatient, impatient. Impatient, inpatient. Paciencia. Eyes open. I'm I'll going to steal a bunch of new stuff. I hope it's nice and it is, you see. What do we got here? Uh, f plus four accuracy when attacking the same target as an ally. 25 damage when attacking the same target as an ally. That's pretty nice. I mean, I'm not sure it's that nice. Mm. Can we... Who's my best? Following your lead. Oh. Mm. Following your lock lead. it first. I'll give it a try, at least. As requested. Okay, you go mm -hmm. there. Then I'll take it from here. Hey. What did we get? What did we get? I want to know what we got. Let's see. It was armor. It was blade golem. Plus tw 50 defense while stunned. Plus 50 defense while f prone. And lower durations. What is he wearing? That is probably better in total. I'm going to consider swapping this out with him if I know I'm going up against dudes that stun hey. or knock down. I think that would be the best way forward. Anyone in here? Free stuff? Free stuff? No free stuff? Free stuff? No free stuff? Free stuff? Yeah, Master Azo lied to you, dude. I think I see something. Just got some drugs lying around. That's what you want to see. Flesh constructs are not going to be my friends soon, I think. Okay, let's let's stop hiding. Skulking. We gotta go talk to Kedman Buttface. Are we going in two different directions? That's fine. What do we got? What's he got to say for himself? We're gonna save in case I mess this all up. Balding man turned to face you. His upper lip is pulled. His upper lip is pulled upward slightly by his pointed nose, exposing his upper teeth when he scowls upper. Upper, upper, upper. What is the meaning upper. of this? Um. 
He hasn't done much good for anybody since he had his soul moved to an inanimate object, so I fail to see why I should let that sway me. If an animancers all followed the commands of their leaders, what, then where would we be? We'd all be as backward and willfully ignorant as reds for us. We would know nothing about life or death, or even ourselves. We'd be lost in the dark with no clue as to why. Our leaders guide us, and without them we risk losing our way. If this man would strike off on his own, we'd let him fend for himself without the benefit of the sanitarium. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Are you from Rayad Ceres? Are you wide when himself risen to smite me for my heretical belief in learning who I am and why I exist? Please. You are afraid because men have taught you to be afraid. Can I kill this dude? Because they were taught to be afraid. These things are only beyond our comprehension because of the fears of people like you. Eat a dick, sir. Who will solve Widewen's legacy? Some church? Some warrior? It will be an animancer, or it will be no one at all. See, I wish there could be like, hey, well, in fact, it could be a church or a warrior, because if you don't know what's causing Wedwin's legacy, then it's impossible to know how to solve it. Mechanically attaching souls to bodies may not be the answer. It could be that you need to kill some foul thing that's actually maintaining the problem, in which case a warrior might be ideal. It might be that you need to actually seek redress and bring people back into the fold of a faith that's been, I don't know, had their god murdered, in which case maybe a church would do it, you cocky piece of crap. Um, and now that Ethelman's relax for volunteers from our patients and a few brave souls came forward. Okay. Um, need to go into the North Ward. I've seen your records. Those are private. It doesn't matter. I I've seen them. Fine. Speak to them for all the good it'll do you. I'm sure the discussions will be fascinating. Yeah, they will. Hey. As I said, eat a giant bowl full of cocks, you monstrous freak of nature. You horrible, torturing son of a jackal. We're going up. To the north ward. Is this my face? I, I don't know you, dude. Might be your face. Might not. This is not your... F okay, well, as long as you know. Thundering sky, rain of blood, innocents must drown. Ooh, it sounds like the beginning of a musical. The flames must be fed, watch them rise. Too much silence, too much, too much. Thundering sky, rain of blood, innocents must drown. He's a bit repetitive, isn't he? What have you got to say? Da, da, da. I need to ask you some questions, sir. Okay. Certain visitors make you afraid. It is misshapen as though maimed by some jagged instrument. Hmm. I'm not sure I want to look into some jagged, messed up soul. Uh, anything else? These poor people. This isn't the treatment that they were promised upstairs by the cushioned seats and lush carpets. Oh my god, it's almost like people lie, Kana. It's almost like people lie. Is that the cure for soul sickness? To be thrown into a cell and subjected to the whims of your captor? Is that the cure for soul sickness? Hmm. Well, yeah, I doubt the wealthier citizens have the same experience. But if all were treated like this, the sanitarium would never survive. What did these patients do to warrant such conditions? Um, there are just as many who come here and are cured of their ills. Here's the source of all that knowledge you were so giddy about. It is one thing to be told as much, another to see it yourself. Let's be on our way. This place gnaws of the soul. I agree. We're going to save because I, I, I get bad unhappy feelings about where things are going to proceed from here. Should we look in Graham's soul? There are things I need to know from you. I'm going to learn them, whether or not you can speak. No, we'll go. Peer into his soul. Da -da -da. Press against the back. Oh, man. 
Carrying a lit candle, it's meager flame casting long shadows. Straps bind your arms and legs. The man is sorry. He is in need of raw materials. They dismantled his work and he needs another source. He needs to show them he was right. He thanks you. Oh, man. Another night, heavy footsteps outside your door coming for you. Look through a slit door, flesh giant, the artificial being. The boy looks with interest at the giant, then collapses to the floor like a shed snake skin. Oh. Okay, so there's some there's some secret nasty stuff going on. I want to go talk to Dickhead Mc Dickface over here. So you've like properly been torturing people. Is this what I'm to understand? What is it now? Look, it had to be done. They took everything from me. I was this close. I had to know. Had to know where I failed and why. Uh. Yeah, I'm going to expose you. Then I can't let you get in my way. Really? Really, dude? You're like, oh, I'm going to stop you. Well, I'm afraid you are radically overestimating your capabilities, my good friend. And by good friend, I mean you utter wang wipe. You're about to get straight up murdered in just so badly. I don't think you have any idea. Yeah? Get that? Yeah, there we go. There was never a way you were going to survive that, my friend. What else you got? Okay. We may have just ruined the world. Who knows? Hard to say. But I don't feel bad about that choice. Now, I remember enough about my first time playing the game to know that talking to this dude is not going to be a good idea. It's going to expose me and set me up for some failure. And I don't want to do it. But apparently it's the only way to progress the quest, so. Yeah, it's the only way I'm going to do this. You're cold and warm all at once, sweating and shivering and straining for breath as you did on the caravan journey. The soul you approach is the wrong one, a parasitic plant that strangles its host. It's predatory and pitiless, and you've crossed paths with it before. Too late does it occur to you retract, and already you feel yourself plunging into some interminable abyss of thought and memory. You're standing in a cell now, the same cell in the sanitarium. The halls are moonlit and empty, and you're waiting. The far end of the, do the ward, the door opens, revealing a flesh golem and silhouette beneath the stone archway. It makes its usual rounds, the same stops every time, the misbegotten child of despondent creators. When the construct is close, you coil yourself up and spring forward, passing out of the boy's body as though it were a membrane. You can sense his body behind you collapsing to the floor, a puppet whose strings are cut. You are rushing toward the golem now, bodiless as a gust of wind. Quickly you think to yourself, quickly, and you feel the strength hemorrhaging from your soul as you dart towards the makeshift abomination. You pass into the golem shell and overtake the soul implanted within, encircling it, suppressing it, and contained in this new vessel you are strong again. You step heavy-footed down corridors, unheeded by the other constructs, and scrutinized only by the wary, untrustworthy eyes of the mad, coming at last to an office piled with books and scribbled papers and the perverse implements of animancy. You set your oversized hands upon a large machine, a nest of globes and tubes and coils in the center of the room, and go to work bending wires and unsettling alignments. Your surroundings are pulled past you, or perhaps you were pulled past them, and they dissolve into a blur. When they settle into place again, you're outside on a clear day, standing in front of a crowd stacked high above you as on the tiered seats of an amphitheater. You're acting for the crowd, deliberately, deliberately standing still, but this is no play. A balding man with rodent-like features is strapping you to a machine, the one you had tampered with. You see your arms for the first time, short and fleshy, unmistakably those of a little girl. But this body is not truly yours. Your mind still holds the same determination, the same hard-heartedness as before. The body itself is cold and vacuous, unlike the others. This one has no soul of its own. The man speaks, and the crowd applauses with an enthusiasm worthy of a hero's entrance. Bear witness, he says, and pulls a lever. The machine shivers and sparks, and a bead of sweat rolls down the side of the man's brow, but the crowd's apprehension quickly gives way to awe as a crystal globe fills with a radiant mist that casts the entire theater aglow. 
He opens a valve and the glow crawls through a tube along a length of wire where wiring that runs to a set of electrodes beneath your armpits. You feel nothing when it reaches you, as it should be, for you have been leading his work astray periodically for some time, altering notes and settings and playing puppeteer for Hollowborn. But you make it look how people would expect it to look when a body is infused with a soul. In a moment the machine goes dark and the man unstraps you, eyeing you with a scientist's concern. He looks back up at the crowd. Behold, he says, but there is obvious hesitation in his voice. Slowly you take a plodding step forward, then another and another. You look up at the man giving him the eye contact of which no hollowborn is capable, and the crowd gasps. How do you feel? He asks at a volume meant for the crowd, and this is the moment. At the top of your lungs you let out a piercing shriek. The man comes toward you, his hands outstretched, but you run the other way, back to the machine. With all your strength you drive your head into the crystal globe and it shatters, streaking your head with warm blood. You drive your head down onto the surface of the machine again and again, drawing panic screams from the crowd. And by the time the man reaches you, your body has already ceased proper function and merely twitches on the cold ground. Satisfied, you depart the corpse in search of another unsuspecting host. Who could put their faith in animancy now? You are pulled again from your surroundings, transcending the boundaries of memories and, and lifetimes. Deeper and deeper past betrayals and murders and lies upon lies that form the thick webbing of plots behind, beyond mortal comprehension. You settle at last on a room that you have seen before, expansive with a tall device encasing an Adra monolith at its center. The room is filled with people, and the people all look at the device. You are yanked suddenly back to reality, and the once catatonic boy in the cell is looking directly at you, appraising, calculating. There is no mistaking now that it is the soul of the man who caused your awakening that gazes out from that borrowed husk. A watcher. I believe we share a common past. I'm just looking for some answers. Is that so? He makes no effort to hide his disinterest, but he continues to search your eyes. He makes a slight grunting noise, and his eyes soften for an instant, and it seems that for a moment that he recognizes you. He opens his mouth to speak, then seems to think better of what he was about to say. His jaw tightens. I know your look, your hunger, hunger for answers that elude you. It gnaws at your soul. It usurps your reason for being. You are like everyone. I will help you let go. Oh boy, I'm going to have to fight a bunch of flesh golems. Okay. So. You go that way. You go that way. You go that way. You go that way. You come that way. You go that way. Okay, close. Close. Take shots. Everybody pile on the big guy to begin with. Come back to center. Okay. Is this guy about to... Is this guy a cipher? Well, we can't have that, can we? How about you be my friend? How about that, huh? Quickly. And back out. Everybody's still alive. Let's make sure some of these people stop moving. Okay, doke. Things are terrible. Let's get some healing down. Um, crazed patients. I'm going to have to kill a bunch of patients, and I'm not too happy about that, honestly. This only affects enemies, it looks like. So let's get that down. In fact, actually, I'm getting injured. Who's this? You switch to those. I need you to come back and run away. And then you can drop your cool spell of coolness. You are getting beaten up. We don't want that. So let's make you my friend. There we go. And then run away. You, I need you on melee. Got flesh constructs closing. I need you over here. Okay. Switch. 
Okay, everybody got something to do. Let's do that. Uh, that's a good place to hit. We are on four. We can bring the worms in. Okay. People are still attacking me, and I don't know how. But we're going to sort that out. Where am I? Yeah, I'm there. Um, Craze patient. Let's paralyze that dude. You guys go kill these guys. Aloth, you back out. Hit these guys. Dude, switch back to ranged. Keep on hammering that guy. And everybody on this dude. Very nicely done. And we didn't actually take that much real damage. There we go. Eater now gets plus three might, plus three dexterity, plus two intellect. That is pretty fantastic. Hey. And I get a bunch of crap. Let's go through his poop bucket. Nothing in the poop bucket. Okay. So it turns out that guy's project was totally sabotaged. Oh, what's this? Oh, nice. What does it do? Uh, okay, but what does it do, though? Uh, probably just uh, really old drew its hat. Okay, well, I'm still happy that we, we won that. 17 hours. No events currently pending. Hey. Let's save. Let's check the record time. We are way over time. Anyway, we got to the end of a pretty useful part. In fact, I'm not sure we're at the end. We might need to go just turn this in real quick. Let's see. Through Death's Gate, Undying Heritage... No, we have finished The Man Who Waits. So now is a good time to stop. Hope you've enjoyed the episode. Listen to the sounds of them screaming. Horrible. Uh, let me know if you uh, what you'd like to see. I mean, I know I've only got 53, 54, 55 subscribers, and I know a few of them are my friends who don't actually ever watch the channel ever. They're just people who subscribe to help me build up a starting subscriber account back when it was uh, a little bit easier. Uh, please do share my videos to anyone you think might enjoy them. Please let me know if there's something you'd like to see me play. If I've got it, as I said before, I'll be happy to play it. If I don't and it's cheap, I might be happy to grab it. Of course, the most important thing is enjoy your day. Take care of each other. Take care of yourself. And you will hear me when you hear me.